Well, the charity Action on Elder Abuse is calling for the abuse of older people to be made an aggravated offence in law. We can talk now to the group's CEO, Gary Fitzgerald. Thank you very much for joining us. Tell us what your concerns are about um, hate crimes against older people. Well, we know from research that there's more than one million older people experiencing elder abuse in the UK every single year and yet less than half of 1% of that actually reaches the criminal justice system. And these are crimes. We're talking about physical assault, we're talking about theft, rape, and, and things that if it were younger people would actually receive court sentences that, that actually matter. A lot of this ends up with perpetrators, if they do reach court, ending up with suspended sentences or community service. We don't have the deterrence that we need. We really do need to make a change here. And I think this proposal is a step in very much in the right direction. So tell us more about the sort of things that you are talking about. You mentioned physical assault. T -t tell us, give, give us some examples of, of the things that are concerning. We, we've seen, for instance, an older taxi driver, an 80-year-old taxi driver, because he couldn't find where the, the passenger wanted, got beaten to an absolute total pulp to the extent that he couldn't eat for three months. We've seen people neglected to the point of death, starved, denied their medication, bones broken, and just left like that. And it's hard not to accept that people's motivation in that situation is anything other than hatred. We've seen old women targeted and raped and these are not getting to court. So we're not talking about minor issues here, we're talking about very serious things that if we weren't dealing with people in their 80s, and maybe we were dealing with people in the 40s, they would be in court and the sentences would be deterrents. And that's what we need. We need people who are targeting older people to know the consequences will be life-changing for you if you do this. Make the them stop and think and not do it. The crimes that you've talked about there are obviously all covered by existing legislation. Whoever has been the victim, rape, beating somebody up, I mean, they're all crimes that could be pursued and prosecutions could happen about. Why do you think that's not happening? I think one of the issues here is very much about the ageist attitude that we've actually got throughout our whole system where we're not seeing the impact, we're not seeing the importance. In some cases we're thinking, well in their 80s or their 90s would they want to end up in court? When actually this is much more about changing society's attitude, changing the attitude of those people who are thinking about doing it to try and prevent it. And whilst we may well Interrupt. have all these crimes, the fact is they're not reaching court, they're not getting the sentences. The system is not working. Who's making those decisions then if you say it's because a there is a, a process by which it's decided that somebody's too old for it to be in their, in their interest for, for something to go to court. Who, who's making those decisions? In some cases, people are doing it with all the right motivations. They don't want to put someone through the heartache and the pain of it. In other cases, we've got police forces, for instance, saying that they're not going to prosecute because they don't think they'll get a conviction because they might make a good, good witness. In other cases, the Crown Prosecution Service isn't following their own system in order to put it forward. What we do know is when we have elder abuse as a crime, an aggravated offence, such as we have in America, it deters, it reduces the elements of elder abuse taking place. So we know it works to do this. We just need to get the UK to take this on board as well. Gary Fitzgerald from Elder Abuse, thank you very much.